Welcome back to the Cloth Diaper Podcast, where on Sundays we absorbency test something. Like these IKEA Hamilisk flats. Actually, the burp cloths. The reason that I have these in my stash is because my man Loops Dan, who is another cloth diaper blogger, she did a post about IKEA hacks and things that you can use from IKEA to cloth diaper. And this was one of the suggested items. I actually don't think that I could find the item that she suggested, so this was the next best thing. And it is 100% cotton. It's one just giant square. And that's about it, guys. And you can use, you can fold this onto your child or you could pad fold it. I do have a review over at my blog, simplywanbailey.com. You can check that out. It's linked down below. I raved about these. I hate these. I don't know why. Like, maybe that was a different Bailey than the Bailey today. But the Bailey today has had these in her stash and she never uses them. I kind of find them a weird shape. I kind of find them really bulky and not really worth it. The point of today's absorbency test is to kind of show you what regular everyday things might absorb. Sometimes you have things in your house that are really absorbent and you don't need to go out and buy something. We as a culture are very wrapped up in this idea that we have to buy things that work for cloth diapering. We have to have a specific thing for a specific purpose. But if you're thrifty, if you are ingenu ingenuitive, the right word? There are ways that you can use other things to cloth diaper and this is one of them. These were really inconsistent and that's probably the biggest takeaway message today is that I got different results from both of these and at first I thought man those results are so inconsistent why would I ever trust them but then when I was looking at my breakdown of my numbers they're actually not that bad. So I triple test everything, if not more. I don't know if I triple tested. No, I only ended up double testing the white one and I kind of got fed up, I'm sorry. We will do the absorbency run on the, 11, the white one then today at the end of the video. But these, I got different numbers out of them a whole bunch of different times. So it was like, what's going on? My experience might be different than yours. This is just a test, an experiment done in the convenience of my office and to kind of show you how textiles work. So these come, when I bought them, they were $6.99 for a three pack. That meant they're $3.50 each. I kind of think that's a little bit expensive if you compare it to other flats on the market, but it is what it is. It's also just regular cotton, 100% regular cotton. No indication that it's organic. All right, so the white one held 11.1 .1 and 11.9 ounces. That's about an average of 11.5. I'm pretty sure I tested this a third time and I just can't find that number written down on a scrap of paper somewhere. And I feel like this one always came out lower. The stars one is a little bit more absorbent. It got 13.5, 14.5, and one odd 11.3 ounce absorbency. That really bothered me. I don't really like having outliers like that. But it is what it is. I do tend to notice with cheaper products that are repurposed that you do get that inconsistency. But those are all still three great numbers, like 11 to 14 ounces. That's a ton of absorbency. Uh, this average then at 13.1 ounces. It does feel a little bit high for this product considering that I got 11 out of the other one. But it is what it is. Hey? So the white is about 30 cents an ounce. The stars is 27 cents an ounce. All right, so we're gonna turn it down. We're gonna take a look at how this absorbs the liquid and that's it. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Like, don't forget, if you wanna see more absorbency videos, subscribe to this channel. Every Sunday we release new ones. Bye. All right, so this is the Ikea flat. So we're just gonna do the white one cause I honestly don't have the patience. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Because this um, pre-fold is pretty bulky, that's why it's taking a long time to get that leak. There we go. And watching it slowly and painfully absorb back in. So this is cotton and I'm going to expect it to do that. 
one simple squeeze. It didn't really move throughout the insert very well. Truthfully, I didn't put the full 11 ounces on there. There we go, here we go. Sorry. Oh, come on. Why are you doing this to me? I, you guys, the day that I'm filling this, I'm also doing the blueberry capri and it also really leaked all over the place with me. But cotton has a good compression to it. It's gonna squeak it all out. And I'm actually really surprised how like slow this was to move. We've definitely seen other inserts travel the liquid a lot better.